took me a little while to get my camera together but hello guys welcome back to my channel if you are new here welcome if you've been here before what it do before we even jump into this video as y'all can see maybe hopefully god willing by the time this video gets uploaded tomorrow december 7th i would have hit a thousand subs but if i haven't i am so close y'all so close i think the last time i checked i had 976 that is 14 subscribers away from 1000 like i just want to take this moment to thank you guys who are supporting me who have been supporting me even my new supporters i just really appreciate the love especially for those of y'all who stuck around since i've been inconsistent because most people don't know I've been doing this for three years, but I just now got to the point where I'm really posting. Y'all, I thought my nose ring came out. But anyway, yeah, so please, 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 please. If you're not subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you are subscribed and you know somebody who may not be, share my channel with them. Get me to 1K. Like, get me to 1K like I need it like I can taste it y'all I can really taste it like get me there all right so boom as you know if you're new here been here as you can tell by the title I am doing 12 days of Christmas makeup edition this will be the third day of Christmas point blank period so um yeah I've been doing different holiday inspired looks Today, I just wanted to do something really simple because I am tired and I do have a lot of stuff that I need to do in so little time. And I still have to edit this video so it can be uploaded tomorrow. I still got to edit the video. And I still got to work. I still work every day. So, it's going to be quick and easy. So, people have been asking me about my face routine as far as like foundation contour highlight all that stuff because i pride myself on knowing how to be a face okay like my my eyeshadow that's the least of my worries all the time as long as my foundation is good like that's what sets the whole look off so people always ask me like about my face routine my natural beat and i will be throwing a little bit of christmas in there and the look that i'm doing is inspired by my girl kaya on fire y'all make sure y'all go subscribe to her channel and i will link the video that made me want to do this down below all products used in this video will be linked down below because i be editing these from the bed and i don't be remembering the name of all my products but first what i do i always start with my brows i just brush them into the shape that i want them to be i outline the bottom and i outline the top and then i start to fill them in get to the front of my brow I always go ahead and start to fluff it out with the spoolie just to give it that natural look because you never want your eyebrows to look too blocky because that's not cute Merry little Christmas girl pro concealer i use the shade medium beige and i just use it to clean up my brows um a lot of people use concealer brushes but it come with one so i'm not about to be dirtying up extra brushes and i feel like it's so much easier because it's a built-in applicator but that's just my preference beauty blender and I just blend 
towards the end of this clip you'll see me get up close even though um, this concealer is lighter than my skin you can see how blended it is once I zoom in and yeah blending your makeup is what's going to give it that flawless finish you don't want to just be piling makeup on top of each other. So you just want to make sure that you always get um, all that product pressed into your skin. For primer, I always use this Fenty Pro Filter Moisturizer. I think is what it's called, Rihanna. I'm so sorry, girl, but I think that's what it's called. Regardless, it's going to be linked down below. But um, when she had came out with this, she said it was good for priming. So that's what I use as my primer and it works amazing. Now I'm going in with my Maybelline Fit Me. Uh, this is the matte foundation in the shade 335, which is classic tan um y'all for some reason in my ring light it was giving very oompa loompa like very orange so you're gonna see me <laughs> keep putting my hand up to my face because i just knew it was giving orange and also in that little close-up that you just seen i was just showing you pat it in don't rake it don't swipe it down your face pat it in pat it in So boom so right here do look a little oompa loompa -ish. oompa loompa ish i'm not gonna lie to you but i promise once you start putting on your powders and your concealers is going to look okay so if your foundation is a shade off it's easily fixable this is definitely my summer shade i just realized i use 332 which I can't think of what the actual shade is called, but that's the one that I usually use. I just realized that I was using my summer shade. Wow. Then I just go in with a fluffy brush and just start to buff it all out so it's not just sitting on top of my skin. Just to buff it out and give it a smooth finish. And as I'm buffing it out, you can see like the color is starting to make sense. It's not looking so oompa loompa-ish. So just trust the process. <laughs> I then go in with that same concealer I must have got a text message and I just highlight the spots that I want to catch the light so that's the purpose of concealer like the parts of your face that are supposed to catch the light they're supposed to look lighter you know if that makes sense I'm not a beauty guru so yeah <laughs> definitely prefer a lighter under eye so i will go in with my juvia's place i am magic j13 concealer on camera it looks like the same shade but it is definitely brighter than the medium beige la girl pro concealer so i just put that in the corners of my eyes just to give me that bright under eye that i'm looking for <laughs> with my contour transition notebook from the crayon case 
uh i can't think of what the darkest shade is off the top of my head it'll be linked down below but i just go in with that and contour my face as you can see i'm sucking in my cheeks just so i can see exactly like where my cheekbone is so i can make sure that i contour under that just to make my cheekbone stand out uh talking to y'all and I would never press record anyway I obviously have to blend this out but this is what good contour can do for your face like look at this side of my face and this side of my face like I have a round face I'm a little chunky I got a round face what a good contour baby it's giving cheekbones period and I know some people don't do the step that I'm doing contouring like down the chin as well, but I have a really round face. So just to combat that, if you're looking forward at me, it gives me a chiseled look. So that's completely optional, but that's just something that I like to do. same dark shade i'm just using one of my morph brushes i can't think of what collection this is from i want to say the sweet oasis it's just a little fluffy brush it's perfect to get the creases of your nose now i'm going in with some banana powder and i'm going to put that over the places that i used a concealer i do not bake so i do not put setting powder on and let it sit i brush it off i brush it off i don't got time so you'll see me brushing this off with this real techniques face brush oh my god y'all i love this brush so good so good i love this brush so much and it smells so good for some reason like it's the brush it's not my makeup it's the brush that smells so good let it snow let it snow. Now i'm going in with this random blush palette that was a gift it's this brownish pink tone called lush and it's so perfect because it just gives you a little natural rosy look and i also brush it across the bridge of my nose sometimes just depends on how i'm feeling you definitely want to make sure you blend that out though or you're gonna be looking like bozo the clown and that's not cute it never gave that oh, let it snow Going in with my e.l.f. setting spray, just spraying my face, setting it, then drying it, you know, the usual. I'm about to put my lashes on off camera. The link to the lashes will be down below. There's some really nice faux mink fluffy lashes the six in the pack for 9.99 on amazon for those of you who were asking about my lashes in the last video first i couldn't find the link but i ended up finding it so that link is down below now as well but whatever it's going to be down um in this video but just a tip um to make your lashes last long i prefer to instead of putting lash glue on the lash putting it on my eyelid first, letting it dry, then sticking the lash on. And usually I have no problem with my lashes trying to come off. So just a little tip for the girls. While I wait for the lash glue to dry, I'm just gonna go ahead and do my lips. This is some random $1 brown lip liner. And then I'm using the $1 famous lip gloss from uh, the beauty supply store. I think the one that I used was the vitamin E oil any of them works just some clear gloss girl and a little brown lip and 
boom and then also if you still have foundation like on your lips chef's kiss all right so boom get into it get into it so for the christmasy part shout out to my good sis so she had a natural beat, but she did a little underline under her eyelid, one red, one green. So I'm gonna try it. So even though this is, this look was based on this, this was the foundation. This is what I wanted y'all to see in this video, but because it's the 12 days of Christmas, <laughs> because it's the 12 days of Christmas, we might as well give a little Christmas flavor. Period. I'm just going in with my Avani Greg and Morph palette. Child, it's just the one I always use with the mirror. So I just grabbed it because it had red and green. The red shade is called Clown and the green, don't quote me, child, but I think it's like Mama Please or something like that. So I just went in with a little brush and just, you know, smoked out my lower lash line just to give a little pop of color, you know. to link pictures i will include pictures but this is the final look y'all my hair is all over the place i do thank you guys for watching this video and i do hope to see you guys in the next one and if you made it all the way to the end which i hope that you did again subscribe to my channel and tell your friends to tell their friends to subscribe to my channel period Get me to 1K. I really do pray that by the time y'all watch this video, I'm already there. But if not, this gonna be the video that take me there. I'm calling it. So by the fourth day of motherfucking Christmas, baby, I'm gonna have one. I'm gonna have 1,000 followers, subscribers. Period. Claiming it, putting it into the atmosphere. By day four, y'all gonna see 1K. And if you don't. That's going to be kind of embarrassing, but it's okay, though, because it's coming. So, I will see you guys in the next video, and thank you for watching. Bye-bye.